he was talking about synthetic data. So large language models and actually most generative AI uses huge corpuses of data that we feed into these models. The internet is probably the biggest pile of data that we have and we clean it up, we tidy it, we label it sometimes and then feed it into these models in order to train on. We also throw in like all of the books, for example, and then these deals with the New York Times, Washington Post, all of the newspapers are all thrown into these models to train them. The thing is we have run out of data to give them because we've already given it the internet and humanity as a whole hasn't created any more information, hasn't created any more data. So this is a civilizational problem. This is not the AI's problem per se. So lots of people criticize generative AI on this thing. It's not going to get any better because we don't have any more data to give it. So it's going to plateau, which it might. But this is not the AI's problem. If we had written more, if we had created more of the last 10,000 years of civilization, we'd have more to give it and it would get better. So we as a civilization have messed up here. What they're talking about now is what they've already started to do is using synthetic data. So you use AIs to create new data, which is then used to train the next stage of artificial intelligence. Then you stack it and then that new Artificial intelligence will create more synthetic data to train the next generation, et cetera, et cetera. So the risk here is if you have an AI that is creating AI slop, if it's creating garbage, if it's creating low quality material, then whatever the next generation is going to be trained on that material and it's going to get worse and you have a decreasing quality over time. So one of the engineers on the OpenAI conference, he kind of just slipped it in. He said, oh yeah, and we have solved the synthetic data issue. So we're going to be able to train these forever, basically. And he just kind of casually slipped it in. If that's true, if they have actually solved this issue, he did not go into any details about it. If they have solved this issue, that's probably the most important thing that was said in the conference, in the live stream. No details, no idea if it's true, but that is monumental if they've managed to crack that particular problem. Much more important than GPT-5, much more important than any model or any mode or anything like that. That would allow and underpin generative AI to continue progressing and continue to get better and better. But again, he didn't mention any details, so who knows? We will hopefully see more about that because that was, it was just a throwaway comment which could change the history of artificial intelligence and civilization as a whole.